Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace. In the presence of His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and honorary president of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, where they presented to His Majesty the Cups on the occasion of the Port Lion, which is owned by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, for winning first place in the first half of the Saudi Cup and the victory of Horse Dark Power, which is owned by His Highness Sheikh Isa in the second half of the race, which was held in Riyadh yesterday under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Majesty congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Isa on this achievement made for Bahraini equestrian sport. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for supporting and encouraging the sport. His Majesty hailed the outstanding efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in serving and developing the sport and supporting the Kingdom's riders where they made many honorable achievements for Bahrain at various continental and global levels. He also expressed appreciation to the contributions of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman in supporting and enhancing the sport and congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on Victoria Stable winning His Majesty the King's GCC Stables Cup for a distance of 160 kilometers. His Majesty wished Bahrain's riders success to make more honorable achievements for the country in future races. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh Al Saleh, chaired the weekly Shura meeting. The council affirmed a commitment to the procedures and precautions that have been taken as part of executing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to deal with coronavirus. The Shura Council then approved a draft law on establishing a system that connects GCC countries financially through institutions and service providers. The Ministry of Health announced the launch of an electronic service to schedule testing appointments for people returning from Iran who arrived to the kingdom before Iran's announcement of the virus spread. This launch comes as part of the national campaign to combat the coronavirus and the link is www.moh.gov.bh slash 444. The ministry affirmed that the hotline 444 will continue receiving calls and urged the people who returned from Iran in February to isolate themselves until their appointments and follow the instructions that will be given to them by the medical team. The ministry stressed the importance of not mixing up with people to avoid spreading of the infection. The Ministry of Health announced that it has re registered six new confirmed cases of coronavirus COVID-19 in the Kingdom of Bahrain, increasing total confirmed cases to 47. Infected individuals were immediately transferred to Ibrahim Khalil Kanu Community Medical Center for isolation and treatment, following tests that confirmed they were carrying COVID-19 upon arrival at Bahrain International Airport via indirect flights from Iran. All individuals in contact with infected patients have also been quarantined as per preventive efforts. The ministry also noted that one of the newly recorded cases of a Bahraini citizen who had returned from Iran before the country announced the pandemic. The citizen who called 444, having presented COVID-19 symptoms, was quickly transferred to isolation for treatment. The ministry will continue intensifying epidemiological monitoring at its entry points, particularly at Bahrain. International Airport, as well as testing all existing suspected cases to ensure the containment of the virus. The ministry urges citizens and residents who have visited Iran during February to self-isolate immediately and call 444 to schedule medical examination dates as they pose a risk to the families and communities. 
The Ministry of Health affirmed that it continues to take precautionary measures to combat the spread of coronavirus. The ministry called on all sections of Bahraini society to follow the instructions they have been provided to ensure their safety and to avoid spreading of the virus. The ministry affirmed that it has called up on all its cadres in coordination with other parties in the kingdom to combat the virus. The ministry also affirmed the importance of following instructions such as one washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands, hugs and kisses. It also includes covering the nose and mouth when sneezing, and it also advises avoiding public spaces when possible. The ministry called on citizens and residents to strengthen their immune system by exercising, eating well and drinking plenty of water, while ensuring that all scheduled vaccines are taken as per the ministry's recommendations. Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Why? Washing your hands with soap and water or using alcohol-based hand rub kills viruses that may be on your hands. Maintain at least one meter distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing and avoid crowded areas as much as possible. Why? When someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth, which may contain viruses. If you are too close, you can breathe in the droplets, including the COVID-19 virus, if the person coughing has the disease. Crowds are unpredictable zones. Avoid them for now. Why? Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up viruses. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose or mouth. From there, the virus can enter your body and make you sick. This means covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze, then dispose of the used tissue immediately. Why? Droplets spread viruses. By following good respiratory hygiene, you protect the people around you from viruses such as colds, flus, and COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus. Stay home if you feel unwell. If you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention by calling 444 and follow the instructions given by the medical team. Why? The Ministry of Health has the most up-to-date information on the situation, which will protect you and help prevent the spread of viruses and other infections.